Good Friday. Well, it's not Good Friday. That was last week. Uh, it is a Friday. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I'm not getting any better at stats in these weekly vlogs, am I? Uh, Gemma is out. She is at Lady Day. Lady Day. Yep, I'm certainly not getting better. Ladies Day. I've just finished work for the weekend. So I'm going to have a relax for the evening. Gemma will probably be back not too late on. Uh, so I don't know how much vlogging we're actually going to do tonight, but I just thought to get rattling. Um, I've just fed the cats the uh, five o'clock feed. They're being awkward. We got them food, new food to try. Gemma always likes to, to try new foods and different things because I keep variety into the diet. And um, they liked it the first day. Oh, great, okay. And then the second day, they turned their noses up at it. So the boys are just sat there going... I don't know, I think, they've, uh, I think they're eating it now. I can hear them up there. New glasses. This is one of the two pairs that I have. Uh, yeah, they're fine. Nothing, nothing different about them, to be honest. I think the prescription is ever so slightly higher, and that's about it. When I said, when I thought my eyes had got a little bit worse, it turns out they, they, they're a tiny little bit worse. Uh, what else is going on? This weekend's going to be... Jet still don't, really don't know what we're doing. Um, we were going to go to the zoo and go and see the tiger cubs, but it's still Easter weekend, so the zoo's going to be quite busy. Especially being like, so probably if we go, it would be the Sunday, so it would probably be the last day before all the kids are getting back in school. So it might still be quite busy. Um, so we're not sure what we're going to do. Maybe into town, maybe go for a walk somewhere. Maybe just relax on the couch and watch TV like we did last weekend, because that was nice. Uh, not a huge amount more to report going on in the world as, of us at the minute. Um... Well, I bought a new camera lens. I'm saying new. I bought a. I always buy camera equipment for the SLR second hand. So I bought from MPB again. I got a 70 to 300 zoom lens for my camera because I did have one that I bought uh, when I looked on the website. I bought it in 2015. So I bought that one from the same place, and that lasted me. I think it broke. When would it have broken actually? I'm trying to think when I noticed that it was broken. I think it was like last summer, maybe. And the image stability on it, there was like a motor in there that, that just stables the lenses and that failed. You could tell when you like um, tried to take your photo, or it, previously the lens, you would hear like a, a whirring of the, the stability motor and then suddenly that just stopped. So you can actually still use it. It's just I have unsteady hands. So when I do, uh, the light has to be really good or oh, the shot looks terrible. But there's a new version of that lens out, and uh, they had a few in excellent condition on MPB for 384 quid. Um, I've been saving up for a while for this, so that's the money's been saved for a while. Um, so I picked one up, and the lens is about 600 new, so it was a pretty good uh, chunk of discount on it. Um, so that should arrive at some point, and that'll be useful, because that's what I was looking forward to trying and getting a little bit of photography now and then to get some shots of the new Tiger Cubs uh, who are apparently are romping around their enclosure now so looking forward to getting them on the vlog as well we can actually use the long zoom lens on the vlog because the camera that I use is, does video as well I think I used it in... it might have been when we went to the Highland Wildlife Park it might have been my old camera actually because that did video too but you know I used the lens, the long zoom lens anyway enough camera talk um, other than that, there really isn't much going on, to be honest. I'm in one of those phases where I'm like, I'm not even sure I should be vlogging because we're doing so little. But it is kind of nice to just have a weekly catch-up. Um, and people seem to like them, so there we go. I do need to water my plant. It's looking a bit dry. It's, uh, it's yeah, these these leaves here are not looking the best, are they? It needs repotting, to be honest. It's massive, look at it. <laughs> and it even flowered. There's a... There's the, well, there was a stalk in there that was from when it flowered last year. But um, since I finished for work for the day, and I know for a fact that Gemma has had beer today, because she got a bar included with the package at, um, at the ladies' day, I... I'm going to have a beer. It's a Planet Pale Brewdog. Picked up a box of them yesterday. Cheers. 
So I did mention him on the last vlog, but this is the stray cat that's visiting our garden at the minute. And you can see the fur on him, he just looks a little bit rough around the edges. He's got a bit of food, he's had a few meals this week now, I thought so. He's thin, you can see it in his back legs when he walks around, he's, uh, he looks like um, like towards like the later years of owning Jin, how Jin looks. So that's why I'm kind of concerned I want to try and get into that. The ultimate goal is that I want to put some food in, in like a trap and see if I can get him in there. But just getting him used to sort of getting a little bit of food and maybe even coming down to the garden when I'm out in the garden. He, he's getting quicker to sort of visit us now. Like if I put food out, I'll be back in the house and I'll be halfway down the garden to eat it. So Mine tech is a little while, but I'm a bit more comfortable knowing he's getting some food. Gemma's home. After a very long day. Did you have a nice day? I had a fabulous day. So what we're going to do, right? I'm go uh, Gemma has done some video. Yeah. So I'm going to pop it in now. If it's any good, don't put pressure on me. I don't know if it's any good yet. This, I've been the racers. We really should say that. I've been the racers. Yes, um, I did say that early. We did a hospitality package. So we got there for half past ten and got breakfast. Then we got lunch. Then we got afternoon tea. And we had a free bar um, and we got really good views of the race course we could see the horses come out the parade ring we saw them when they finished all nice and muddy we could see the woman from itv interviewing all the jockeys while they were on the backs of the winners interviewing the horses interviewing the horses we were making up because <laughs> we had lovely big tv screens in our beautifully warm luxurious hospitality tents that wasn't in the lash and down tats no one was on the tats like it was empty because <laughs> of the rain, because of the rain. It was so funny. We, like, we picked the perfect day to try hospitality for the first time. Um, food is fabulous. Serving staff are fabulous. We had a live band on between every race and they carried on till six o'clock. Um, they were really good fun. Um, great. Yeah, really good, good stuff. Place. Got the cherry pole. <laughs> Amazing. The amazing rail staff. They were sick. What were they singing? Something about getting home and. Oh, what was the song? I don't know, but was the, they changed the lyrics to Mersey Wales getting me home mm -hmm. because we were on the train. I can't remember what okay. song was now, but it was, it was, it was fun. It was fun time then. Full big DJ set with three guys in like gold shiny suits playing on the tunes. <laughs> and that was on the train on the way home. That was so. on the queue to get on the train. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So with any luck, <laughs> she keeps interrupting me because she's had too many beers. Uh, so with any luck, we'll put the footage in. We'll put the footage in now. And uh, hopefully that worked well. And um, if it didn't, then we'll carry on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna. We've just ordered some food from KFC for dinner because neither of us eaten for quite a little while. Not for me since about five o'clock. Okay, for me since lunchtime. Um, and then we'll crack on. We'll eat that and we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Because you don't need to see us eating KFC with chicken grease all over. All that. Nothing says. Lovely sunny Saturday out. Like a big trip to the big Tesco. <laughs> How exciting. Are you feeling? Fine. Good. Unlike all of our viewers who are probably dizzy now because I spun the camera around so quickly. Good, I'm glad you're you good. Smashing. Anyway, let's go and have a look at Big Tesco. And uh, we're in a bit of a rush job because I've got my camera lenses arriving at one, I think, and it's 11. Of course, last time we were in here, they had Club Card Lego, so that, uh, that got bought. <laughs> it's dangerous. There's not a lot of, I'm not seeing a lot of club card prices, but you never know, yeah. That was the one I got, but I got it on the club card price for 27 quid. Try as I might, I can't make an interest in vlogging a Tesco. <laughs> Gemma's had the idea that we could have a carpet picnic for tea, which is where we buy lots of little small picky bits 
throw it on a pizza plate, sit on the carpet and eat it. We don't eat the carpet. Well, maybe we do if it gets onto the food. We actually ended up doing a 180 and getting some of the Yoshi sushi stuff. They do a, a deal of like two mains and a side for a tenner. And then we added on a couple of um, other sides to snack on. Yeah, your duck's on it on its way off there, I'll get it. <laughs> so back home, uh, last night, um, I suddenly had the urge to just get all the camera equipment that we use at um, the SLRs, I mean, because um, they've been away for quite a while and they're a little bit dusty. Uh, they've both got new charge batteries in. That's the lens that I used to use for all of our photography and that's the one I mentioned where the image stability has failed on it. Um, Gemma's probably going to carry on using that occasionally because she's much steadier with the camera than I am. So she, it's a bit of an upgrade from the lens that she had. This is about a 70, 80 pound lens second hand. That was about 200 pounds at lens second hand. Uh, but this is the new lens that just arrived uh, from MPB. I bought all my second-hand kit from them, and so far they've not done me wrong. So, yeah, let's see what we get on with this one. I'm going to open it up off-camera, and I'll show you what it is. And there's the new one. Uh, so it's the same as that. It's just the version 2 of it. So apparently the glass is a little bit clearer, and um, it's got a few new features and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to use that, hopefully, to get some nice photos of some tiger cubs. Mm -hmm. And baby aunties, and baby aunties. Uh, yeah, I'm, I want to try and get back into my zoo photography a little bit because we used to have a lot of fun, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can have a go on the other camera. Yeah. And if you get back into it, I will replace the other lens with the one that works as well. And there it is attached to the camera itself. So NAF 77D is what I use for the photography now. I, think I bought this about three years ago now, something like that. It's a birthday treat for myself. And this lens is a birthday treat for myself, effectively now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much in as new condition. There's only a little bit of dust on the lens on the outside there. It's not on the inside. I could have got... They, they sell... When when you go to MPB, this isn't an ad for them, by the way. It's just I've used them before and they're quite useful. Um, they give you a condition of the lens you're buying and then there's a whole range of lenses that you can buy of varying conditions. So you could get like well-worn ones, brand new ones. There was one on there that was in the same condition as this but also had the lens hood. Uh, but it was like £20 more expensive and I can probably shop around and get my own lens hood if the one from that lens doesn't fit it, which I think to look at it, it might not do. But it's a 30 to, uh, sorry, 70 to 300 lens that you can zoom in really far. What I tend to find with the old one is beyond 200, it gets a little bit soft, but 200 on this body is still like nearing 300 because it's not full frame. And I mean, that might not mean a huge amount for the videos, but you're now on this lens, and I can do this. It won't focus this, so I will have to focus it in. We can go super zoom in on Kixie's face. Extreme close up of cat nose. <laughs> Well, while the weather is clement, we'll uh, get out here and start getting all this mess sorted. Having a bit of a sweep up before I do some pressure washing. Influenced by uh, Tangled Up In Fun's video, thought I'd break out our pressure washer as well. Uh, the furniture still looks good. I'll, I'll give it a rinse. Just getting all this crumb that was lying around the edges of it from all the trees losing the leaves last year. I think the log's going to have to move somewhere else. It's not looking the best this year, is it? Maybe if I give a pressure wash on top, it'll be all right. I gave up on the log. It was becoming an insect hellhole. <laughs> it's further up the garden, so the insects can continue to have a little bit of space, but not down here. Pressure washing next, because, wow, well, it needs it. Oh, it's power washing time. perfect by a long shot but moderately better maybe less slippy down at the bottom part was really bad I had to proper we I don't think we've done that in like five years so it'll do for now anyway it's more that I was a bit worried that we were coming out in the wet and it was slippy and I don't want any of us falling so that's that solved 
pajamas. Sushi. Enjoy, honey. Sushi? It's not sushi, is it? It's your sushi. Uh, they're nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Took in them. I have been. I can see. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. We're watching uh, Carmen eat while we eat. Uh, I got the Korean beef, which is it's quite cheeky, actually. And I also have some chinkatsu crunch mini rolls and some salmon and avocado crunch mini rolls as well to try. Good afternoon. It is Sunday. We were supposed to be in town now, but neither neither of us are feeling particularly well. Um, so and it's not self inflicted. <laughs> um, so we we've decided to postpone that trip to town. We're actually going into town tomorrow evening for postmodern jukebox, but I'm not sure what we'll be able to vlog at that. But we'll take you along anyway. Um, so today we're going to have a chill one. Um, we're not. I'm not even going to go and get like food or anything. We've got some bits in. We can we can make do with uh, food that we've got in. We're just going to crash out and relax a little bit. I think. A nice afternoon relax. We're playing a bit of GeoGuessr. This is the game where you have to. It puts you in the in on Google Maps on Street View, and you have to use clues around you to figure out where you are. So in this one, if we go back to the beginning, we turned round. And I think, where was it? It's a little bit further up the street there, next to us. Is it there? But anyway, we turned around and found a sign and it just said Bank of Bogota. So we're like, oh, well, that's quite useful. There it is. Banco de Bogota. So we, we put a pin on the map in Bogota. And now we're just trying to triangulate, see if we can get any closer, because you, you can pick it down to a few feet if you want to. But we did chuckle because we both looked at this bus and this bus here says Colombia on the side. I'm like, oh, that bus says Colombia. And then we're like, hang on a minute, Bogota is in Colombia. <laughs> so you learn a bit about geography as well. Oh, look, it, was, it wasn't it was actually Bogota. It was somewhere near Bogota, which I guess makes sense because um, the bank's based yeah. in Bogota. But yeah, we got some fairly good points on that. So how did we do? Five locations. We got 17,500 points. The best you can do is 25,000. So yeah, we uh, we dropped a few points there. I think our worst one was this one here where we, we guessed Chile and it was in Uruguay. Yeah. We did drop a lot of the traffic. No yeah, signs. it does. It just drops you in the middle of nowhere with no signs. You're like, well, there's not many clues to be taken here. One of our favourites to do, it's very easy, but it's nice to play, is the Walt Disney World one. Although it will occasionally catch you out like like this is a perfect example. You're like, well, this it's just a road in Walt Disney World. Oh look, Coronado Springs. I think I know where I am straight away because I think if we go down here and along. Hang on a second. Okay, so we must be around the back. We're not actually where I thought we were. That's pretty cool. I would have the Big Buena Vista Drive by the Big McDonald's. So then we have to find that on the map. So Coronado Springs is the. <laughs> um, do we, does anyone know where the Big McDonald's is? It goes down a bit. There, see Buena Vista Drive. But you want to That's the West Buena Vista. It, yeah, but it also said um, Disney's Blizzard Beach as well. So, and there's yeah. East Buena Vista. And there's World. Should have recorded the screen really. There's the McDonald's there. There's the McDonald's. And where's the McDonald's on the map? It's there. And we're facing northeast now. So I think we'll go back that way, don't we? Yeah, I think so. And this is where it dropped us. On a straight. So maybe like here somewhere. I mean, it could have done, or it could have been further south. The, the it could have been Osceola, couldn't it? Because we yeah, because the sign said Lizard Beach and Coronado Springs, so it can't be in between the two. Otherwise, one of them wouldn't be on the sign. So we're thinking maybe along here. Yeah, we must have been before. It. 
oh that wasn't too bad but we lose a lot of points because we were 500 yards away because it scales based on how short small the, the, the area can be as well that's fun next level i have no idea where i am <laughs> We've been here, haven't we? I'm going to say I'm outside Arthur Animation. I think we've been. We came out of these, one of these is doors. It? Yeah. We went to visit Arthur Animation. I mean, when I say it is easy, it is easy if you've got a fairly decent knowledge of the resorts and, you know, of how the theme parks work and that. Because if you don't know the layout of Walt Disney World, it's not all that easy. I'm guessing it's there. Because I can't see any other buildings that... No. Although... Oh, that's just a lot of mermaid's area. Yeah. It just feels this, like that. the reception of the main building, isn't it? Because, which, yeah, because of that bit yeah. there, which is that. Yeah. There we go, yards. 11 yards away. Can't be further than that. I've just done myself a thicken as well. I was drinking these. The Fentiman's on the left, though. Um, I'm like, this, this Fentiman's tastes terrible. Now, I've been double-checking all the bottles I bought because the new mixture I really don't like. Uh, the one on the right. Seven point nine grams of sugars. And the one on the left has a completely different label. So now I need now I know at least if the barcode's in the top right I don't want it. If the barcode's in the bottom right I do. And there it is right there. One of the ingredients is sweetener. You check the other one, it's all sugar. Our gaming's moved on when I'm playing Little Inferno. And uh, I've put some tea on, more beige food. Just some uh, comfort snacks tonight, because neither of us is really in the mood for going out anywhere to get food, so. Just threw some bits of chicken in, some uh, some flat chips. There's Gemma in a new dress, doesn't it look fab? It's got pockets. It's got pockets. We're going into town now, aren't we? It's Monday, by the way. It's Monday. Yeah. Uh, we're going into town, we're going to go and see Postmodern Jukebox. Uh, they are the uh, YouTube channel musicians who do covers of pop and rock songs in like swing a big ba band, yeah. swing, 20, 1920s, all sorts yeah. of different styles. They're playing Liverpool tonight and they got us tickets before Christmas. It was like a little Christmas extra Christmas Christmas treat, yeah. Uh, so we'll probably get some food in town as well. And we can't show you the show, obviously, but I'll pop a link to one of the videos in the description. You can go and have a listen. And uh, we'll maybe show you around the theatre and that when we get there. First order of business, Lego shop. I mean, food. <laughs> Look, Florida fans, we've got a Popeye's famous Louisiana chicken and a Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. I've not heard the best reviews. <laughs> Dunkin's fine. Dunkin's fine, yeah. And Bold Street for food. Probably just gonna go and grab a burger at Fat Hippo. We had good food the last time we were here. We just want something quick. And burgers are usually served pretty quickly. Yeah, quickly. Mmm. I'd see a burger on a donut. Project D donut at, donut at that. <laughs> but I think I'll go with the, the classic fat hippo, which I don't actually think I've ever had before, but that's the name of the place, so probably probably be pretty, pretty decent. Burgers turned up. That's a bit of a monster, isn't it? And Gemma got the, I can't really show you, what is it? Hangover 3. Hangover 3, it's a chicken burger, that one. Uh, the burger is uh, two patties, cheese, bacon, some uh, chorizo, onion ring, burger sauce. Pretty nice, actually, the burger's really good. On to the theatre now. You enjoy your burger? I'm very stuffed. You're very stuffed. Two full chicken pies on that, didn't it? Yeah, yours was huge. Wasn't I have to take a chicken pie off. And you took an onion ring off mine as well. I shouldn't have The burger was lovely, the, the, the chips were absolutely awful. <laughs> I ate yeah, them. I yeah. them if I'd have uh, if I'd have made them chips, I'd have put them I in think the bin. I tried to hit it at the time when you were getting loads of like delivery orders. Yeah, as and well. the service was painfully slow. Yeah. So um, yeah, not the best, but the, the burger was really good. Yeah. I guess that's the most important part. Uh, I prefer a honest burger. I think. I know you. I prefer, prefer the burgers there. But, there. Yeah. We but need I to try. We need to try some. Burger. Try and find some good indie burger places in mm. Liverpool again, like Free State Kitchen that we've still not tried. Although the menu I've looked at there and I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to the theatre now. And we made it to the theatre. Doesn't it look pretty? Well, we haven't been in here for a little while. Stage is all set up. The show starts in about what, half an hour? Half an hour. Uh, nice theatre. 
This is the Philharmonic. Sound flaps off. <laughs> um, <laughs> they did have merch and everything, t-shirts, but um, I've got far too many. But yeah, we're not going to film any of the show for obvious reasons, so we'll let you know how it was when it finishes. And not before. Heading back down Bold Street now, we'll uh, chat about the gig when we get back to the, well actually probably when we get home, get comfy on the couch. I think everyone in the street has come from the film now. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it Yeah. Because Damn it, the Lego store's shut. I mean it is 11 o'clock so I'm not surprised. Good evening. Good evening. Did you have a nice evening? It was a very good evening. It was fantastic wasn't it? Highly recommended if you get the opportunity to go and see them. Such fun. Yeah. They were like, shout at us, get up and dance, take pictures as long as you tag us in the... Yeah, so that's why there are pictures. They actually let us take yeah. pictures. They, they didn't even say don't film, but uh, but there's no point in putting video up because it would get content tidied. They didn't say film either. So they get content tidied anyway. They said take pictures if you want to see them, make sure you tag us in your pictures. Yeah. So uh, that was really nice. They did. Pop songs, they did computer songs. Computer songs, <laughs> they did rock songs, they did like um it's like a mix of like nineteen twenties, nineteen fifties, um jazz, New Orleans jazz, tap dance. Just tap a dancer. really good fun show, it was wasn't a it? Really good fun show, yeah. Um your favourite song? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, mine was I nothing else matters, of course. Yeah, I mean the Hallelujah was amazing, and but I really like the cover of Nothing Else Matters. Yeah, so what I'll try and do is I'll post a couple of links in the description to some of the songs that they played tonight. It's the best thing yeah. I can do. Yeah. Go and check them out because straight from from the channel. So yeah, highly recommended. Yeah, and the, and they do occasionally play Epcot as well. Yeah, yeah, they were playing. Didn't they play Flower and Garden just after we left? I think they played Food and Wine in September. And we couldn't see them as a result. Um, yeah, because I think I remember talking to someone about them playing and I saying I wanted to go and see them. Just after we left. But they have been known to play anyway. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're well uh, whether they'll be back there, I don't know. But, you know, if they are, again. Or in Europe, they're from America, so yeah. they tour all over. And I think I they tour... Hope they come back to Liverpool. Well, they toured in the UK there. like a year ago, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, but they didn't come to Liverpool, did they? Yes. Did you miss them? Yes. They just didn't know. I hadn't really oh, looked. Were away? Um, it was coming up to when we were going away, so we were probably in that period where we didn't want to go out just in case. Anyway, I think with that, this vlog's come to its natural conclusion. Yeah. And we will catch up with you next week when we are... <laughs> I thought I'd just leave, leave that one hanging see, see if you could come up with an idea Yeah, go into the zoo and I might cook some food Some yeah, non-beige food That'll probably be, be in beige, but there we go There's a new shark-based thing coming to Chester Zoo That I'm just supposed to read for from the email shark bait. Not shark-based Shark-based <laughs> Anyway, see you in the next one Have a good time Bye-bye <laughs>